We can divide trading indicators into three parts, momentum indicators, trend, and oscillator indicators. So in this video, I'm going to explain where and how to use each indicator. So let's start with some oscillator indicators like the stochastic RSI and the RSI. The stochastic RSI, which is this one, is the best indicator to use on stocks which are in a channel, like MMM in this example. And this indicator works best on daily time frames. On a one minute time frame, it's usually not accurate because on daily time frames and the stock is in the channel, that means the stock is stable and the stochastic RSI is very sensitive to moves like this. So the best way to use is in stocks that are in a channel. As you see here, when the stochastic RSI was oversold and MMM was in a channel, I bought the low of the channel. And where you could sell the stock when the stochastic RSI shows a sell signal or whenever it reached the high of the channel. This is another example on Walmart but this time on a weekly time frame. This is where I bought Walmart which was in the low of the channel and all the indicators showed a buy signal same as the stochastic RSI. So this is where I bought. I sold a bit early because I had a really big position but you can sell whenever the stochastic RSI shows a sell signal. If the stock continues to push, stochastic RSI will not show a sell signal. As soon as it shows a reversal signal, it will tell you to sell. So this is how I use the stochastic RSI. Now let's switch for on the RSI, which is this one. I use the marker instead of RSI and I have a video explaining in details why I use the demarker indicator instead of the RSI. So consider the demarker indicator as an RSI. I use the RSIs on daily time frame to show an oversold state and I use on stocks that their market cap is more than 10 billion and it's a stable company. Something like Apple for example. Whenever it's oversold, the chance of bounce back is really high. You can set filters for example for RSI less than 20 on the daily time frame and show you all the stocks which have the, with market cap more than 10 billion. Those kind of setups are really high and it's close to one of my swing trading strategies. You can see the backtest of the strategy. Of course there's much more filters but it has around 80 to 90 percent win rate which is really high. But on one minute time frames, when RSI is oversold, it usually doesn't work because it can always drop more and I can prove that using a backtest. This is the result of the backtest and it's clear that's a losing strategy. But if you check the RSI when it's overbought, the probability of a drop is much higher than it's oversold. And this is a backtest of a strategy showing that if we short stocks, on the one minute time frame that their RSI went more than 70 and 80, probability of a drop, it's much higher and it's clear that's a winning strategy. As you can see here, Apple when it was overbought, the chance of a drop, it's much higher. So this is how I use the oscillator indicator. Some trend indicators like moving average, I use moving average to let my winners run and to catch some momentum. This is exactly what I mean. As said, I use moving average to catch momentum. I have many videos explaining the same concept, so I'm going to try to keep this very short and simple. Let's take the trade on Apple for example. When it was close to 200 moving average on a daily time frame, it was a great buying opportunity. So basically Apple has a great momentum right here and the best way to catch that momentum whenever it gets close to 200 moving average. So I bought and sold around 130 and now I currently went in again, which was around 123. I have a target around 132. Another example that I can give is on Tesla. Tesla was a good buying opportunity. It was close to 200 moving average right here and I kept the space to average down and I sold around 720, which was around 20% profit. The same thing again. I'm catching this huge momentum on Tesla using the 200 moving average. I went in when it was around $575 and it's currently 630, which is around 15% profit. I'm looking for a target around 
676. Now let's switch over Twitter. The second way that I use moving average is to let my winners run. As you see here, Twitter was on the channel and at the low of the channel it was a good buying opportunity. So I bought and the target range was around $51. So the best way after this to let your winners run is using the 9 exponential moving average. If you follow the 9 exponential moving average and close your position when the price closes below 9 exponential moving average, you would make around 64% profit, which is totally insane in one trade. Another great example for catching momentum using 200 moving average, you see Twitter was had a great momentum this year, and at any dip, it's a good buying opportunity, which was around here. It current, it's currently up around... 10% from my entry and when is the best time to sell is to follow the 9 exponential moving average what's the worst case the worst case you'll get out with profit so you can just let your winner run using the 9 exponential moving average and for the last one some momentum indicator like the MACD MACD is the best indicator that you can use to spot trend reversals so I never use the MACD indicator alone I always use with other indicators, this is what I mean. Whenever the MACD shows a buy signal, it, that means if the momentum starts to shift to the other side, I check the stock if it's at a good support, if other trading indicators are confirming, if everything is confirming that it's a good buying opportunity, I just go. So the MACD is a great indicator to spot reversals. The same idea here, when the stock is it's oversold, it showed that it's about to reverse and in this case it was close to 200 moving average which I explained previously. The same thing on MMM. When MMM was here, when it was at a good support, so when the stock shows a reversal sign on the MACD indicator and it's at a good support and other indicators are confirming that, it's a great buying opportunity. This strategy provided me 100% win rate from January 2021 to March 2021. So it's a great strategy and a great technical to use. Stocks in a channel and these three indicators confirming a buy signal. So this is how I use the MACD indicator. I tried to explain to you in a very simple way, which you'll understand directly. So I hope you guys learned something new. Make sure you subscribe and see you in the next video.